Hello everyone. This is a very introductory video about citation managers. You might hear them referred to as reference managers, citation tools, citation generators, or even bibliographic tools, but they're all basically the same thing. But what do citation managers do? As you do research and find resources that you want to keep track of, these tools help you organize the citations and the actual files of the resources. You can choose whether you want just the citation information, the author, publication date, journal title, etc. But in most cases, you can also save the files of the actual resources along with the citation. Then, as you're writing up your research, you can create in-text citations and bibliographies with just a couple clicks. How does it do this? First, there's a software that you download onto your computer. This holds the citations and files. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Then you can also have online access to the citations and files through a web-based account. There's also a plugin for browsers that allows you to easily save citations and files to your account. And another plugin for your word processor that lets you easily add those in-text citations and create bibliographies. The University of Minnesota Libraries currently supports three citation tools, Zotero, Mendeley, and EndNote. That means that we teach workshops, stay current on features and changes, and can meet with you one-on-one -on -one to help with them. We have more videos and information about those on our webpage about citation managers. And now I'm going to briefly show you what a citation manager looks like. So this is what the database of citations looks like. So this is Zotero, but they all basically look the same. You can see how it is organized into folders in the left pane, and then the center pane shows the materials in each folder, and the right pane shows the citation information for each citation or file. So now that you know a little more about citation tools and how they work, it's time for you to try one out. It takes a little time to get used to them and develop a workflow, but once you do, they will save you time. If you have any questions, you can contact the University of Minnesota Libraries by going to our homepage, lib.umn.edu, and scrolling down to the contact us session. 